All right, in this video, we're going to look at finding the area between curves. All right, so let's just take a look at some examples. Uh, I've got this example here. I'm going to, uh, I've got several examples I'm going to work. I'll probably just do uh, one example per video. Uh, so uh, if you want to see the other examples, you can check out the other videos. They should be right there close to this one. All right, so this first example, it says, find the area of the region bounded by the graphs uh, y equals x squared plus 2, y equals negative x, x equals 0, and x equals 1. All right, so when we're doing this, the best thing to do is go ahead and just and sketch a graph. Okay, so let's, let's look at the graph of this. So let's look at this y equals x squared plus 2. Well, we know this is a parabola opening up, and we have our vertex at 0, 2, and we know it's going to open upward. Okay. And then we have y equals negative x. Well, we know the point zero zero is on there, and then we can use our our slope and our slope to uh, get the other point. The slope's negative one, so I'm going to go down one and over one, and so that graph would look something like this. And then let's see, that's going to be negative one there, and that'll be one. And then I need to graph x equals 0, so we know that's just a vertical line going through where x equals 0. And then I have uh, the graph x equals 1, and that's a vertical line going through where x equals 1. So the, the area that I'm looking for is this one right here. That's the area I'm looking for. So I need to get my limits of integration. So my limits, you can see I'm going to integrate from 0 to 1, okay? From from here to here. Now, to do the to uh get the area, the area is going to equal and I'm integrating from 0 to 1. It's this curve Okay, this curve minus this curve. So that's going to be x squared plus 2 minus, okay, and that's this curve, minus this curve. So minus negative x. And I'm integrating that with respect to x. And so this is going to give me 0 to 1 x squared plus x plus 2 dx. Okay, now the minus and minus is a plus, and so that's where I get the plus x from. All right, and so now we're ready to integrate. So this is going to be 1 third x cubed plus 1 half x plus 2x, and I'm going to evaluate that from 0 to 1. So plugging that in, I'm going to plug the 1 in. So this is going to be 1 third times 1 cubed plus 1 half times, nope, I'm sorry, that should be x squared. So that's going to be 1 half times 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus, and when I plug 0 in for x, that's just going to be 0 back here, but I'll go ahead and plug it in so you can see it. Plus 1 half times 0 squared plus 2 times 0. Okay. All right, and then we just evaluate this, and when I evaluate that, I get 17 over 6. And there's my answer.
All right. So, so just remember, you just you just need to sketch a you need just need to sketch the graphs of everything, and see where your area is, and then it's the function on top minus the function on bottom, and you know you get your your limits of integration. Here they were zero and one. Okay, and you know some of the some of the other problems is going to be a little bit different how you get your limits of integration. You may have to see where the graphs intersect or you know something like that. But this one was this one was fairly easy. Uh, and you know once you do the function on top minus the function on bottom, you just integrate it, and then your there's your limits of integration. All right, so I hope this video helped. Uh, I hope you'll check out the other ones. All right, thanks.